Hey there, YouTube land. It's me, Prowler71, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome! A quick rundown about me for those of you that are interested. I've been a lifelong gamer who is currently in his mid-30s, and Sonic the Hedgehog has been my favorite gaming franchise since I first picked up a controller. Interestingly enough, Sonic & Knuckles was the first video game I ever played back on my very first console, the Sega Genesis. I'm a big fan of some of the older or retro games that are out there, but don't be fooled. I love me some modern gaming as well with games such as Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk, and even some of the Final Fantasies. I'd love for this video to be the first of a series where I go back and give homage to my favorite Blue Hedgehog by playing the majority of his titles for all of you. So if you love Sonic like I do, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe and or thumbs up button, and without further ado, let's get into it. Oh man, Green Hill Zone, just an absolute classic if you are a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. Although at this point, maybe beaten to death by all the remasters, remakes, and everywhere they just love to shove Green Hill Zone into. But you can't deny that this isn't one of the best starting levels for a video game in video game history as far as I'm concerned. Again, I'm a little biased, so the thing we gotta make sure is we finish the level with 50 rings so that way I'm able to get into the special stage zone. Can't make it a playthrough without getting all of the Chaos Emeralds if you're playing a Sonic game. That's just, you know, the rules. <laughs> Even though in the OG Sonic there's only six Chaos Emeralds to collect, they didn't introduce the seventh Chaos Emerald and Super Sonic until Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But boy, oh boy, do I despise these special stage zones here. These are just the worst of the worst. Zero control, zero fun, just hell in a handbasket if you ask me. <laughs> and the biggest thing I'll never understand is I don't think I ever finished Sonic the Hedgehog with all six Chaos Emeralds growing up when I played this on Sega Genesis because Thankfully, with the, the Origins, you're able to attempt it multiple times with the coins. But you had no such luck back on the Sega Genesis days. But we got one. One down, five to go. The big thing with Sonic for me, I guess, is that I've always just been a fan of his gameplay throughout the years. Specifically on the Sega Genesis and the Sega Dreamcast before Sega really bowed out of the, the console wars and became a third-party developer the way they are now, but man, this stuff right here, I could play this for hours and hours and hours. Specifically Sonic and Sonic 3 with Knuckles. That is just the bread and butter of my childhood, where like I mentioned earlier in the video that Sonic and Knuckles was the first video game I really ever played because it's what came with my Sega Genesis when I got it. But I spent so much time playing through this game, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic CD is still a little bit new to me. I mean, I'm gonna get to that obviously because this is the Origins pack and you gotta play through all of them. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> almost missed a special stage there. But yeah, I definitely have the least amount of experience with Sonic CD with all of the old Sonic 2D platforming games, which I'm okay with. I mean, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of Sonic CD, but it definitely doesn't hold a place in my heart like these ones do for the Sega Genesis, really. Oh my god, I absolutely cannot stand these stages in case I haven't told you guys that already. This is the worst of the worst, and these friggin' ping pong bouncy things are just the bane of my existence as well, because they don't allow you to... Okay, okay, Sonic, Sonic, work with me, please. No! A few moments later... There we go, get in the little corner and just work your magic. Get in there. Hey! But yeah, my history with Sonic is kind of a convoluted one where, like I said, I played all of the original 2D versions of Sonic and then I moved on to the, the Sega Dreamcast where he made his grand uh, adventure into, so literally, Sonic Adventure where he went the 3D route similar to Mario with, you know, Mario 64, which is a great game in its own regards. But after the Dreamcast era, I stuck with Sonic 
I want to say through PS2, where he jumped in with Sonic Heroes, um, and then there was Shadow the Hedgehog, which I have both of those games, and I definitely want to go back and play them at some point. Really, after the, uh, the PS2 era, I followed him with Sonic Unleashed, which I played when that came out. But I never got a chance to really play through the Wii games, the the Secret Rings or the the I think it's the Black Knight, Dark Knight. Don't yeah, not Dark Knight. What am I? Batman over here. <laughs> Came back into Sonic when he was getting into Sonic Colors. There, that was a really fun game. I enjoyed playing that on the Nintendo Wii. Oh, here we go. The iconic Doctor Robotnik, or Eggman, as he's known in newer games with this classic first boss trope over here, swinging his ball of death. Never gets old seeing this thing. And the classic villain music that cannot be beat. Alright, one more hit ought to do it. I lied. One more hit after the one more hit. <laughs> there it is. Just like that, Green Hill Zone is done. Marble Zone. This is exactly the point in Sonic the Hedgehog where the game really stops being as fun. <laughs> Just everything slows down. You don't have that speed. You get trapped in a lot of platforming sections. But going back to what I was talking about with the history, uh, my history specifically with Sonic, is I, I played Sonic Colors on the Wii. That was really the one Sonic Wii game that I ended up playing. I played through Sonic Generations when it first came out on PS3. I had a blast playing that. Very much looking forward to the new iteration of that with Sonic X Shadows Generation comes out in a few weeks from the time of this recording. But really after that, I kind of fell off a little bit with Sonic going forward where Sonic Forces, I didn't, I never played Sonic Lost World, I didn't play all the way through Sonic Forces, I don't believe, I've heard really, really bad things about Sonic Forces, unfortunately. And then Sonic Frontiers, I bought it, I started playing it, and unfortunately when you're an adult like me, well, at least I think I'm an adult, <laughs> things start to get in the way in terms of, oh no, did I knock you 50 rings? No, things tend to get in the way where you gotta prioritize stuff, so I never finished Sonic Frontiers. But I'm looking forward to going back and playing through that. Because I had a lot of fun with the... I think I beat the first zone where you fought the first Titan, became Super Sonic, and then I, I went to like the Knuckles area, and then I, I just lost track of time and haven't had a chance to go back to Sonic Frontiers. But now that I'm starting this journey, I'm gonna make sure I play through it because I'm looking forward to playing through as many Sonic games as I can just for YouTube. Even if that means playing the worst of the worst, secret stages, well I don't know if they're considered secret, special stages I should say, that are just the worst. Just to get the Chaos Emeralds, just for you guys. Come on Sonic, work with me. He doesn't wanna work with me. No, 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 no. All that work, and I'm not going to fail now. Get in there. Get in there. No. No. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. This is the run. This is the run. Nope. Oh, my God. How did I not throw up playing this as a kid? That's what I want to know. The amount of spinning. How would Sonic not be throwing up right now with how much spinning he's doing? Woof. I want to know specifically whoever created these stages. Who hurt you? Why did you come in the office that day at Sega to be like, you know what? I have a perfect idea for Sonic Special Stages that will just be the worst idea ever. Oh my god. I'm gonna fail at this point, aren't I? After all the work I did to clear out everything in the middle. A few moments later. Finally! Oh my gosh. That was at least 10 minutes of torture. But, halfway down, halfway to go. 
Yeah, the big thing I guess I'm curious about is really the future of Sonic because, spoiler alert, even though I didn't play through Sonic Frontiers fully, I kind of had the ending spoiled for me a little bit with the amazing DLC and everything that came out for that game. Which again, like I said, I will get to it. But I'm just, I'm curious to see where they're going to go with Sonic going forward, if there's really going to be a, a Frontiers 2 or if they're going to have Sonic go in a different direction again. Obviously, a big part of me would love more than, love nothing more than to see Sonic Adventure 3 come to fruition, which I know a lot of people say is what Sonic Heroes was, and obviously all the iterations of Sonic since then. But still, future is going to be interesting for our favorite Blue Hedgehog over here. And obviously, the big thing that they're really Sega is really driving through with uh, the the Generations Remaster is the the Shadow version, where shadow is really you know getting brand new gameplay they're showing a lot of crazy boss fights where he's fighting i think it's metal overlord from sonic heroes obviously uh black doom's coming back that's a huge thing from the shadow game i don't know if i'm gonna look forward to playing shadow the hedgehog for you guys because that i do not have fond memories of that game i want to say that i possibly beat like two or three of the the endings from that game and then I think I gave up on it because it was such a bad game and I was so excited with the whole Shadow's got a gun and all that and one thing that still gets me about Sonic games you can become invincible all you want you can become supersonic all you want man if this blue hedgehog gets crushed by anything it is game over I think he can still drown when he's invincible too, if I'm not mistaken. I don't recall. Either way, we're about to get our fourth Chaos Emerald. At least I certainly hope so. And hopefully it takes me less time than the last one. I'd say we're cruising, but I honestly have no idea if I'm going in the right direction or not. Because there is no direction in this hell. <laughs> it is just jump and pray that it's going the right way. I think! Oh no! Here we go. Ah, oh, perfect. We made it to the middle. Let's go. Not like last time. We're gonna we're gonna nail this on the first try. Oh my god! Why? Why do I open my mouth? I've beaten Sonic the Hedgehog plenty of times on the Genesis, but with all of the Chaos Emeralds, I don't think I've ever done. Oh brother, this guy stinks! As far as special stages, though, the way I look at it is this is the worst one with Sonic, the one being the worst special stages in all of the Sonic games, as far as I'm concerned. And then Sonic 2 with the half pipe, it's not terrible, but it's also not the best. I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't really have, I have like nonchalant feelings about the half pipe with tails and all that. My favorite special stages are 100% Sonic 3 and Knuckles, where you collect the blue spheres, you go through the 3D special stages. Probably because I played those the most, I'm the most comfortable with those. That's up my alley right there, so. But we got four out of six, almost there, and we're only really, really not that far into the game, so I'm feeling good, feeling good. And the caterpillar's in my way. Gotta love this too. Interesting how they added the speed dash the spin, the spin dash, speed dash, huh? The spin dash into every game with Sonic Origins, which is a really cool feature. I think that's really cool that you can go back and release the games the way they did, especially the way that Sega did, where you can enjoy them all over again, widescreen, with different move sets and whatnot. I mean, that's just a really cool touch for Sega to go out of their way to do for the Sonic fans out there. Because that was definitely one of the things that was not really great about this game was the fact that you had to get the momentum and then press down in order for Sonic to really do a spin dash, if you want to call it that. But even the drop dash is something that I didn't even know about until I was streaming a while ago, playing Sonic Mania. Right there, that. And my chat was telling me, why aren't you using the drop dash? And I'm like, what are you guys talking about? They're like, jump and hold the, the jump button again. And then I started doing it, and I'm like, okay, this is a game changer. I had no idea this was even an option. 
And the fact that, like I said, that they put it in here as well is a really, really cool feature. I'm trying to recall after Marble Zone, I think it's Spring Yard Zone. I'm trying to remember when that terrible, terrible zone, Labyrinth Zone, comes up in this game. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've played it. I definitely consider Labyrinth Zone. It's got to be one of the worst Sonic Zones in all of Sonic games, as far as I'm concerned. If you guys have any zones that really you despise, comment below. Let me let me know what your thoughts are on some of the, the classic Sonic zones that really drive you crazy. I know, what is it, Metro, Metropolis zone from Sonic 2 is just, oh, you want to talk about a Souls-like before Souls-like was even around. <laughs> That's a Sonic Souls-like, if, if I can recall. All right, and we are just about at the boss fight, if I recall, where Robotnik spews his little fire. Oh, I went the wrong way. That was dumb. <laughs> All right, no, nope, nope, we're okay, we're okay. Oh no, I thought I was gonna get hit there. Um, oh no, well, that just, that's fantastic. Didn't mean to lose my rings there, but what are you gonna do? And missed the capsule. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, well, Marble Zone done, Green Hill Zone done. We are on to Spring Yard Zone, if I recall correctly. Oh, the worst part about this game, these freaking block platforming sections that I always forget about until I reach them. Okay, how many hornets are there gonna be? Jeez Louise. Yep, just literally suck all the speed out of the game by making you stand here and wait. That's one thing with Sonic games, they always seem to crush the music. And I know obviously once we get to the, the later Sonic 2D games on Origin specifically that unfortunately they couldn't get the rights to some of the uh, older Sonic games with Michael Jackson helping out and that being a whole copyright issue with that whole shenanigans, which is unfortunate because those levels that he actually worked on for the music were really, really some of my favorite soundtracks from Sonic 3. I think it was like Ice Cap Zone and it was like a rock, was it Rocket Yard? I want to say is like the other one, but there we go. All right, we're almost through the torturous special stages that just, ugh, I think, I hope. Am I going the right way? I have no idea if I'm going the right way. We're going to find out, I hope. If not, we got plenty of coins to retry, so. <laughs> okay, well, if I can just, all right, now we're not going the right way. Tell me we're done, tell me we're done. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, just, we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill? Okay, we're not gonna chill. We're gonna get the Chaos Emerald, thank you. Whew. Five out of six, here we go. And take out those Krabby Patties. I don't know why I call them that, but it just feels right to call them that. <laughs> What's a Krabby Patty? We will press on and hopefully get 50 rings before the end of the level so I can Complete the Chaos Emerald Collection. Okay, well, that's, oh no, 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 we don't want to go down there. I mean, we need the rings. Ah, crap. All right. 50, and the shield, so that helps. If I could, you know, possibly get out of this. I hate these things more than anything. <laughs> Who designed the layout of this place? I want to talk to the architect that's in charge around here. Just demand to know answers. Like, what were you thinking? And... End? With the big ring? Let's go. Here we go. Final Chaos Emerald coming up. And it's funny because I feel like this is the easiest one to get in terms of unlocking it in the middle because it just drops you right in where you don't have to go through a field course of hell to get to this one. Look at that. The, the easiest one out of all was the last one. Sonic got them all. Let's go. Lies. I got them all. Sonic was just along for the ride. I mean, technically he got them, but I got them through him. Anyway, <laughs> now we can just focus on crushing the rest of the game, which makes me a very, very happy camper. 
Okay, okay. Oh, well, I don't know why I didn't jump there or press down. Just simple game mechanics that I apparently didn't feel like doing. Are we gonna... Okay, well, uh, yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, why? Why? Just why? <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. That was okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Does Sonic get the credit for being the first game that introduced the bottomless pit? Probably not. Probably like Pitfall or something like that would get the credit for it, but I like to think that Sonic came up with it first. Probably not. <laughs> this boss. This is what his gimmick is, is just trying to make you fall into a bottomless pit over here anyway. There we go. And we all know my deep, deep hatred for Labyrinth Zone, which is coming up. There's a reason why you needed to collect lives, especially up to this point. Because that third zone is just, oh. Between the special stages and Labyrinth Zone Act 3. I don't know who pissed off the Sonic developers the day that they created those, but boy, oh boy, they are not, not well thought out in terms of player friendliness. <laughs> We're going to get to hear the all loving anxiety music that we all grew up, well, specifically, especially us in the 90s grew up hearing that just riddled us with anxiety about the drown music. Ugh. Still, that is probably... I feel like you could play that music for so many people and they immediately know it's Sonic Drowning music. It's just so that iconic. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's not fantastic. And yes, I know I probably didn't need that air bubble, but I am always, always that person that's like, you know what, I'd rather sit here for an extra 30 seconds get an air bubble just because I don't want to drown. That's who I am, and I will never change or apologize for that. <laughs> it's funny how much I despise this zone specifically because of the water. That's just really the biggest reason for it. But then they absolutely knock Hydro City out of the... Or Hydro City? Hydro City never know what the correct pronunciation of that is but hydro hydro <laughs> hydrocity hydrocity whatever it is i feel like they really really nailed that level specifically because it's just like you don't mind falling in the water because there's so many different areas that you can go exploring oh my god and you can just it's it's fun to play through oh no oh no oh no oh no we got air. Whew. We're done. I'll take the shield. I wish I got a bubble shield, but that's not available until the third Sonic game, as we know. Or at least I know. If it's your first time seeing a Sonic game, you might not know that. But that's an interesting thing. If you guys have any, you know, original Sonic memories that really spoke to you that you want to comment below, let me know what Sonic game got you into Sonic the Hedgehog. Was it from the Genesis era? Was it the Dreamcast? Was it later on? I'd love to hear what you guys have for your Sonic memories as opposed to just mine. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Can we ride this up? Nope, I want the air bubble. I'm not taking a chance. And done. Woo! Now we're on the dreaded Act 3 where, like I said, you guys will see why you gotta stockpile lives if, if you're first time playing through this. Thankfully, I have 200 coins, which I guess would translate to 200 lives if I needed them. So I want to see if I can get that shield. Could use that. There we go. Yes. Hopefully, I can keep this towards the end. Because I'm going to need it. No spiky thingies. Oh, no. God. Ah, I was afraid of that. Fast move. Spikes, huh? Look at you. Very rude. Very, very rude. There we go. Alright, let's just stay up as long as we can. Nice balancing act there, Sonic. Kind of crazy how they thought of so many different, like, things to 
put okay what the I didn't even go near the <laughs> and now I don't have any rings oh, I got one great perfect perfect well this is not going how I was hoping it would go oh more invincibility I will take it even though I think like I said I think you can still drown while invincible Yep. See? Call it. Get him in the air bubble. There we go. Okay, we got shield. We got rings. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about our chances coming up. We just got to play this smart. Hopefully. Which is a lot easier said than done. Especially with me playing video games. Oh, God. As one of my favorite movies always says, Pressure? What do you know about Pressure? Big, big, big Jim Carrey fan. And the fact that he is Dr. Robotnik in the Sonic movies, oh, chef's kiss right there. I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to see how they're going to pull off his character. Oh, boy, hold on. Got to get that. No, don't fall, because if you fall, you drown. I remember. Okay, here we go. Here we go, peeps. got to focus in now. This is where we enter the depths of hell in Sonic times. <laughs> Because we're facing, we're we're racing the water, and then of course Robotnik is gonna be right there. And I don't know why you don't even have to hit him. Okay, okay. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I don't want to rush it. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay, it's fine. I'm waiting. We're gonna we're gonna do this first try, gen ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do it. I believe in I believe in us. I guess I mean myself. I hope. Am I gonna do this without getting hit? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? No way. No way. I, mean, I just jinxed myself 100%. I just jinxed myself. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh God, I didn't see the extra spike, but that's fine. It's fine. We made it. Hit him. That's fine. We did it. Let's go. First try. Woof. Worst zone done, thankfully. Starlight zone. Oh, great zone. Great, great zone for those of you that are familiar with this game. Great music, too. Definitely goaded Sonic music right here. Oh, that's not what you want to do. <sighs> I think I would learn by now. A little bit of that speed formula back in the game that we all know and love. Like I said, where you have to go through those horrific zones of marble zone and, oh boy, labyrinth zone, which are just slow as molasses, which, again, I'm not doing myself any favors by showing the slowest part of this level, <laughs> but at least there are some decent speed zones in this part. You gotta watch out for our spiky McDoucher up here. Come on, sometime today. I agree, Sonic. I know. I'm sorry. I, I I hate waiting, too. Boom! But like I was talking about earlier, where Jim Carrey is obviously playing Dr. Robotnik and or Dr. Eggman for the newer Sonic crowds out there. Um, oh, come on. Shenanigans. Yeah, he's just... his is How eccentric he plays the character and just his repertoire with the other cast guy it's just amazing and i'm so happy that jim carrey decided to come back i know there was a lot of talk about him possibly retiring after sonic 2 but you can't have sonic without eggman or robotnik and i'm i'm very very curious to see how keanu reeves is gonna play the um, shadow the way that that's gonna go down because that's just i can't wait i'm just i'm just very very excited and that was the holy Toledo, 49 seconds to beat that? Okay. See, I told you guys, we just had to crush the uh, Chaos Emeralds and then we're just cruising and bruising right through the rest of the game. 49 seconds for the last level. I don't think we're gonna get that fast through this one. Oh, I guess I gotta go up, don't I? Okay, well, it helps if I don't get hit by a fireball. Now this is Sonic right there. Look at that speed. Okay, what the? Okay, why? No. Can I jump? Ugh, I gotta time this right. 
Go. Yes, perfect. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes, this boss. Let's go. All right, let's make this easy on ourselves, huh? Get him. There we go. I like hitting him like that. I think it's more fun. What? Oh, he doesn't drop it if you're standing on the seesaw. Rude. And here we go. Yes, thank you. That's always a fun little boss battle right there. And just like that, Starlight Zone is complete. Scrap Brain Zone. Oh. Not my favorite, but... It's alright. We're gonna get through it, we're gonna get through it together. I hope. And we'll see what happens. Appreciate that. Stay away from the electric things of death. Okay. Jump over the fire. Okay. Oh, that's perfection. <laughs> it's like, it perfectly knew. It was like waiting. It was like, oh, yeah, we're going to get you real good here. Ready? There we go. Timing. It's all about the timing. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Oh, get out of here, piggy. What do you... Don't shoot that thing at me, whatever that is. All right, let's go. Woo! Nice. Zone one, just like that, in the books. Let's go. Two to go, I think. Get some more rings? Why not? Why not? Can never not have enough rings, right? That way, when you lose them, you can hopefully get some back. Okay, just like that. <laughs> it's like I knew. It's like I knew. Okay, that's... Ugh. Like I said, not the greatest player, but you know what? Okay, let's wait. Okay, fire, go away, go. No! Crap! All right, well... Horrible timing. Just need to make it to the end. Just need to make it to the end. All right, all right. Okay, why? Why are there buzzsaws just flying around? Very, very uncalled for. Okay, what? Again, like to speak to the architect who created this place, probably being Dr. Robotnik, but him and I are going to have some words about how horrible this place is. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, why? Why? What the? Tell me we're at the end. Ish. Please? Oh, I jumped right in. I was trying to avoid it because I saw it coming. I was trying to avoid it. We're done. Let's go. Woof. What a doozy. Right. Yep. See? Look at you. I think you're so clever. I'll get you, Buttnik. Yep. Scrap Brain Zone 3, a.k.a. Labyrinth Zone Act 4. And we're okay, I think. Probably should have jumped. Oh, boy. That is a long way down. And I need an air bubble. Please. Don't do that. Don't start. Don't start. Here we go. Switches. We're just going to hit switches and see what happens. I hope we don't have to work our way down. We probably do have to work our way down, don't we? Well, that's just great. Okay, that... Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no! Are you... Ah, that's typical. I'm trying to remember... Once you get through this zone, is it the final, final, okay, that, yeah. <laughs> really? Yep, now I get pulled through, and I'm drowning. Please tell me there's an air bubble. No, nope. oh, please, please, please. <gasps> what the? Now, Peter. What the? What F? The How F did F I was holding things.
I call shenanigans on this game right here, right now. <sighs> okay, first and only drowning death of this gameplay. Let's go. I hope. Okay, this is not a ideal situation. Because I need to take... Why? 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 <laughs> I didn't drown, though. I didn't drown. So, positives. We're, we're taking positives out of this. <laughs> a few moments later. Doesn't see me yet. Let's keep it that way. I'd like an air bubble, please, before we drop down. Got it. Good. No! Why? Why would you do that? Doesn't like me sometimes, I swear. Okay, nope, don't wanna get crushed. Would love an air bubble to not drown again. Hello? Oh! Oh! What? No! And just like that, I'm dead again. Please tell me the. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! God. Remember when I said that Act 3 was the worst Labyrinth Zone? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's Act 4 here. A few moments later. I wanted to. I need an air bubble right now. Please? Please. It, it was right now. What? Ugh. Thank God I stockpiled all those lives I talked about earlier. All 201 of them. <laughs> Oh my Atlanta, this is terrible. One eternity later. I'm just gonna just jump. Jump like my life depends on it and hope that the surface is near. Two. I'm dead. It's right there! It's right there! Oh. Oh. Please give me a checkpoint. And get me away from these spike balls of death. Thank you. Push the button. Okay, but we're not gonna drown again. No, no, no. Give me a bear, a bear, a bubble, bubble, bubble. Come on, don't, don't. Why? Thank you. See, I swear this game is just toying with me. My emotions. Emotional, damn it! Can't handle it right now. Get me out of here. Let's go. Final zone. Here we go. The final, final zone. Here we go. Yes. The iconic smasher Butnik battle. I don't oh, like <laughs> Especially with the spin dash on this part. There's no need for me to die on this part. All right. Here we go. So we're going to stay in the corner. Spin dash. And go. And then we're going to jump back in the middle. Here we go. Go. It's gotta be gotta be close to death. By death I mean Dunskis. Where are you? That's let's go. Okay. I'm feeling it. One more. I think it's one more. One more for the victory pose. Let's go. Oh, what the right on top of you. Come here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You crash and burn. We are victorious. That's right. That's right. With all six Chaos Emeralds. Let's go. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog 1. 
Next video that will be coming out will obviously be the continuation of Sonic Origins where we will dive into Sonic CD. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you liked it, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up and stick around for more videos to come. Thank you guys. See you next time.